Listen to that drag, baby. So we gotta retie a lot of the lures, take off those freshwater ones that I were I was using in Virginia, and now put on my saltwater stuff. This right here is a flats bug. It's the black gold. Alright, that one's good. We've got one more that needs to get set up, and that's this fella right here, the Pro TI. And I'm gonna throw a curl tail bug on there. And here we go, look at this one. A brand new blue crab. So if you've never ever used one of these bug lures, oh my gosh, you definitely need to try them at least once. Check them out, they're in my description down below. And uh, these lures, boy oh boy, do they get it done with the redfish. I mean, just about everything that swims out here on the Texas Gulf Coast. Let's clip these. I don't ever use these right here, the weed guards, because I don't, I mean, there's no need to, but uh, yeah, that guy is ready to go. Uh-oh, there's a thump. There we go. Oh, we start out with a mud chicken. Hello, little buddy. You and all your friends, they are just littered up and down the bank. They are just going crazy, feeding aggressively right now. And uh, welcome back to Texas. Look at that. You get a little bit bigger, my friend. Hello everyone, thanks for clicking on the video and as I said, welcome back to the Texas Gulf Coast. Today we're going to try to make it happen out here inside the marsh. We've got a low tide, but it's incoming right now, so we're transitioning. We've got water movement, everything is on our side. Lots of blow-ups, let's see what we can do. Got a lot of blow-ups right here. This spot has turned into just a really nice gym. You know what, I was going to start out with the curl tail, but it looks like those small little redfish still. <laughs> it almost looks like white bass. I mean, look at that. They are going crazy right there on that point. Especially whenever you have water movement, boy, do they just start feeding aggressively. Rather than use this, we're gonna go to the clickbait minnow. That is the perfect lure to use in this situation because they are feeding on minnows. This guy, this is where you're gonna shine, my friend first cast immediate hookup just watch it's going to be way too easy <laughs> what i tell you that right there is a speckled trout oh we're working on a nursery slam everyone all right my buddy i need you to chill out really quick just chill out chill out chill out let's wet our hand look at that not bad at all what a way to start the day. Already a redfish and a speckled trout. And there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Go ahead, buddy. I know you ain't going to go back over there and start crushing that bait. And if you do, well then, man, oh man, you're a thug gangster. We can catch a, a bigger one. Maybe if this guy can get down there towards the bottom. So far, everything that I see, just, there are tons of little fellas. Okay. Let's see what we can make happen right there. But everything that I see, it's they're just all little guys. Increase that drag. No need in keeping it super light. Boy, this guy is fighting. Oh yeah, that's a keeper speckled trout. Let's grab the ego. 
look at that if we was keeping fish today whew, thank goodness we kept tension if we were keeping fish there's the first keeper of the day beautiful speckled trout almost speckleless there we go Get that out the way and i need you to just cooperate just for a quick minute yeah look at that 16 and a quarter inches Nah, first keeper of the day. Look at that right there. Great size for the pan. If we were keeping fish, this guy would definitely be the one to uh, go right there inside that pan. But not today. No catching cooks today. All right, those guys are still going crazy. It's got to be a, an entire school of them. And we're gonna keep going at it until they are done. Oh, whoo, man, that guy just came right back at me. All right, this is the last cast with the clickbait minnow. Um, what I wanna do is put on a top water and see what we can make happen. That should be pretty interesting, especially whenever they're feeding up at the top aggressively like that. Maybe we'll get a big one to bite. All right. Like right in that strike zone. I guess they're keyed in on the lures that they're chasing after here. Let's go across the entire deep area. Maybe we can call in one of the fat mamas. Yeah, nothing. One more cast and that is it. I know I've seen... <laughs> I've seen enough to know that they're dialed in on the exact bait that uh, they're crushing right now. So they're probably not going to hit anything else that doesn't look like it. I mean, it makes complete sense to me. Let's get the uh, clickbait minnow again and see what, what else we can bring in with it. Right there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Tell me they're not dialed in on minnows. All right, buddy. Way to be aggressive. Look at that. Not so bad. A few more casts and... If we don't get any more keepers, then we're just going to keep heading out. Oh, perfect cast. Look at that. <laughs> the way they come up, just like motorboating. That's why they're so hard to keep on the line. You've got to constantly keep tension. They have really thin mouths, too. Reminds me of a crappie, but a crappie doesn't motorboat the way these fellas do. All right, this is going to be the last cast right here, and we're going to continue on into the marsh, see if we can find some slot reds. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh my gosh, this guy's got a little bit of bottom end. Oh, and that is it. We're done. All right, we're going to end on that note. He was a little fella with a big attitude. Put the clickbait away. And uh, let's continue further into the marsh and see what else we can pull out. In case y'all are wondering why I come out with so many rods, check this out. Here goes the arsenal. We've got a... Uh, paddle tail right here. That's a little like four incher. Wow. That was a big blow up right over there uh, And then I've also got a little bottom bouncer And this right here is also a bottom bouncer that imitates a shrimp It's been three weeks since I've been out here in the marsh So I don't know what bait is out here. So I got a little bit of everything a big old paddle tail the bottom bouncer another bottom bouncer a minnow and then y'all just saw me put that one on but uh, yeah, uh I can turn around and grab just about anything for almost any situation that I come across just like that rather than having to retie or just hope and pray that they're going to hit 
if I were to bring one lure, that one lure. Tiny little grass shrimp right there. I don't know if that's their, what you actually call them, but that's what I'm calling this fella. So we do have shrimp out there. I should have just left it on for the uh, scent since I don't have my shrimp pro here. I'm seeing a bunch of blow ups off in the distance. So we're gonna pick the trolling motor up, get it out of the mud and push pull our way to where those blow ups are taking place. Just did a quick battery swap, probably my last one of the day because we've got an errand to run. Very important one too. I think y'all are gonna like it. It's probably gonna be tomorrow's video. I'm not too sure yet. There are a lot of reds out here. I am talking an insane amount of redfish in the back lake and they will not bite no matter what i throw they are not biting there's so much bait as well minnows and shrimp small crabs and the reds are being very selective they're just not hitting these artificials the way they normally would all right so what we're going to do is kind of work our way back um i've push pulled as far as i really want to go i mean i can see them in this back lake just going ballistic all alongside the grass and i just can't get them to bite no matter what i throw i've thrown everything uh oh well that was a mullet that just thumped my line um yeah it is very thick back here but if they don't want to bite then hey i guess what they they don't want to bite uh, i was able to set the hook in one of them but then snapped my line immediately kind of makes me question if it was oyster or not uh let's uh, work our way back in at least i got some b-roll of these guys crawling all up and down the bank it's so beautiful to see that because i haven't seen it in a long time but uh yeah it is now 10 o'clock it's going to take me about two hours to get back to the ramp somewhere around that and by that time it's going to be like what 12 and then I got to get home that's one and then I got to get to the uh, this place and that's going to put me about two three o'clock somewhere around there so yeah I think it's time to head on out There we go. We got him. There we go. We got you. Finally. Listen to that drag baby. Now that is a proper donkey right there. Boy, that drag. I'm going to cinch her down little by little because I don't want to spook everything. I'm going to try to hurry up and horse this fella in. We got 12 pound line. So plenty of bend on the rod that should be more than enough to turn this fella and get him in really fast come on buddy i told y'all there are tons of reds out here like as soon as i caught him everybody else started going ballistic trying to get out of the area all right let's get the ego ready come here buddy Oh my god, that is a beautiful red. Please don't go crazy. Oh. <laughs> Get over here. Look at that. Yeah. Oh yes, baby. Oh my gosh. Look at that right there. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, this makes the day right here. This fella, gorgeous redfish. 
Oh my gosh, yes. I have been trying all day long to get one of these guys to bite and I just couldn't make it happen. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? That bug, the curl tail, the blue crab color, got it done. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I thought I was, ah, I thought I was filming the release. Oh well, 26 and a quarter inch. I am super stoked to have been able to catch that fella right as we decided to leave too. Well, thought I was recording, but uh, yeah, rookie mistakes back inside the marsh and you get too excited. One thing leads to another, next thing you know, yeah, lose track if you had the record button on or not and there it goes nevertheless what an epic fight right there listening to the drag just scream that's what i have missed them past three weeks oh my gosh thank goodness we are done with them and we are back in the marsh baby Oh my gosh, dude. <sighs> Bro, what are you doing? Oh yeah, like trying to bamboozle me, getting hung up in my trolling motor. Get out from under my kayak, dude. Oh gosh, okay. <sighs> Look at that, are you kidding me? This little mud chicken, like seriously, how are you even able to fight that? Oh my God, I don't believe this. Get over here, dude, like seriously. Goodness gracious. I cannot believe this dude. I, I think it's probably just because of the strong current that is coming in. The kayak has been having trouble trying to go against it. And this little turd, goodness gracious. Another win for the bug. Look at that. Yeah, you play nice and I'll hurry up and release you. Oh my gosh, that is definitely a mud chicken. Bro, you got too much attitude. I'm gonna hurry up and get this guy back in. Oh, this little turd. Ain't no sense in measuring him. He's probably about 18 inches. I just can't believe how strong that fella fought. My gosh, super crazy. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so much for tuning in today's video and uh, watching me as I went back out into the texas marsh and what a welcome back i received from the fish today even though the reds had uh, a slight case of locked jaw i was just beyond excited to be able to see those fellas busting up on bait crawling right up against the bank and just going ballistic on everything that was out there so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did click that thumbs up button and until next time tight lines y'all